Hello, good morning, my dear children. So, children, today in this video, I am going to explain the question answers of lesson number three, the grateful tenant, which is written by Sudha Murthy. I hope you all understood the lesson very well. If not, read the lesson once again and uh, read the lesson once again. Okay, children. Now let us start with the. See, children, glossaries mean the difficult words which we are finding in the textbook. First one is play. That is a nameplate fixed to the wall. Nameplate affixed to the wall. Next one, engraved. Cut words on wood, store, metals, etc. Third one, outhouse. A small building in the ground floor, usually at the back of the main house. Next, wholeheartedly. That is completely and sincerely. Selfless, caring about others, not about oneself. Next, meager, that is small quantity. Next, Man Friday, a trustworthy character in the novel Robinson Crusoe. Next, run errands, means to do petty jobs. Reaffirm, means prove again. Tenant, a person who rent land or a house. Penniless, means a very poor. Stroll. To walk slowly in a relaxed way. Next, come to the question answers. Answer the following questions in two or three sentences each. Come, let us come to the first question. Why did Ramesh name his home Sham Kamal? Yes, why did Ramesh name his home Sham Kamal? See the answer. Why like Dharwat, Ramesh used to stay with an elderly couple, Sham Rao and Kamla, as a tenant. They has a great influence on him. So, as a tribute and gratitude to them, Ramesh named his home as Sham Kamal. Yes, Ramesh was very grateful to this old elderly couple that is Sham Rao and Kamla Bai who helped him a lot. They treated him as his own son. So, to wanted to show his gratitude and tribute, he named his house as Sham Kamal. Next, come to the lesson number two. Whom did Ramesh stay with when he was in Darwad? Yes, children. Ramesh used to stay with an elderly couple, Sham Rao and Kamla, when he was in Darwad. Yes, Ramesh used to stay with an elderly couple, Sham Rao and Kamla, when he was in Darwad. Uh, Next comes to third. Was Kamla Bai selfish? No. Kamla Bai was a, not a selfish woman. She was a selfless woman. Yes, she used to take care of Ramesh and is and she is to treat him like his own son. That is, Kamla Bai was not a selfish woman. Next lesson, come to the question number four. How did Sham Rao help Ramesh? Yes, how did Sham Rao help Ramesh? See the answer, children. Sham Rao gave Ramesh a place to stay in at his home. He always brought pedas for him. He treated him like his own son. He would let some money from his meager pension to pay Ramesh college fees. In this way, Sham Rao helped Ramesh. That he used to say in his Sham Rao house and Sham Rao used to always bring pedas for him and they treated him like his own son and used to lend some money from his meager pension to pay the college fees when Ramesh was late in paying the fees. Now let us come to the fifth question. Why did Ramesh call him the couple's man's Friday? Ramesh friend used to call him the couple's man's Friday because he used to do he used to run errands for them and do odd jobs like going to the post office, buying fruits and vegetables, watering the plants and pumping the water out of the tank. So his friend called him the couple's man's Friday. Yes, Ramesh also used to help the old couple, that is elderly couple, by doing the jobs like going to the post office, buying the fruits, vegetables, watering the plants and pumping the water out of the tank. In this way, Ramesh used to help the elderly couple. Next, question number six. What kind of person do you think was Ramesh? Yes, what kind of person was Ramesh? See children, Ramesh was very kind and grateful person. He had the elderly couple with their love and affection they had shown on him. He showed his gratitude not through mere words but through action yes ramesh was a very kind and he was also a grateful person he was he helped the elderly couple by showing them love and affection so he showed his gratitude not through mere words but through action action means by keeping the name of his new host that is sham kamal 
Now let's come to the question number seven. Describe Kamla Bai and Sham Rao. See children, Kamla Bai was a selfless woman who shared her meals with woman with Ramesh. Yes, Kamla Bai was a selfless woman. She treated Ramesh as his own son. She used to share her meals with Ramesh. Now come to the Sham Rao. See children, Sham Rao was a retired postmaster and he was a friend of Ramesh's father. He gave Ramesh a place to stay at his home. He always brought pedas for Ramesh. He did not let Ramesh to go hungry for a single day and treated him like their own son. He also would lend some money to Ramesh to pay his college fees. This is how the Shamra helped Ramesh. Next, how can you make old people happy? See children, we can make old elderly people happy by showing them our love and affection, by spending our time with them and by being grateful to them and satisfying their needs. Yes, children, we should always keep our elderly people, that is grandparents, happy by spending their, spending our time with them and giving respect to them and satisfying their needs. We should make our elderly people happy. See, children, this is the activity I had given to you, children, that is describe an elderly person in your house. It may be a grandfather, grandmother, mother or a father and say why you like him or like, like her. Say for example, you can write his name or her name, age, physical look, height, weight, admirable qualities, abilities and shortcomings. With the help of these words, describe about your grandfather or a grandmother or a father or a mother whom you like more. How he looks, how, what kind of qualities you like him, yes or no, how you admire your parents. Like that, you write a paragraph of this in your class or book. See children, now let's come to the language exercise, that is vocabulary. Match the words in the list A with their opposite in the list B. Okay, so children, I'll give the answers also. That is remember. The opposite of remember is forget. Selfless. Opposite of selfless is selfish. Agree. Disagree. Success. Failure. Grateful. Unkind. Late. Early. Okay, these are the opposite words. Next comes, see children, the word notice has two meaning as an action word. It means to see, observe or keep it one man. Means action words are also called as verbs. Verbs are called action words. See children, for example, I notice a book on the table. The same word notice has a naming word. Means a written or a printed statement to announce something in a public. He displayed a notice on the door saying that he had gone to his village. See children, the same word can be used in a noun form or in a kind of the verb form also. Naming means it is called as a noun. Noun is also called as a naming word. Okay children, now let us see the word can be action or a naming or a noun form. Noun is a name of a person, place or a thing or idea. They often serve as a subject of a sentence. It, it can also be performed as an action Word. A word can be in a noun form which means a information of a noun. The same words can be an action which say that an action is performed by that word. Okay, children see here. Use the following words in sentences. First as action words, then as naming words. So children, first the word is change. In the action sentences, action means in the form of verb. Verb is also called as an action word. So children, I change my school in form. See children, in this sentence, the word change is describing the action. That is, he changes his school in form. Okay, children? So, change is an action sentence in this sentences. Next, in naming sentence, I change my food item to get a better taste. See children, in this sentence, change word indicates the naming of a food items to Food items. Okay, children. Next comes share. In the action word sentence, I share my happiness with my family and friends. Here, the word share indicates the action that he is sharing with his family and friends. Okay, children. Again, in the noun form sentences, I share my study materials and notes with my friends. Here, share is a naming word because it indicates the name of a material that he is going to share with his friends. Next, love. In the action word sentence, I love my family and friends. Here, the word love indicates the action of action towards his family. What kind of work indicates his love and love to his family and friends? Okay, in the naming words, that is in the noun form, the word love is 
I love playing football. Here the now the here the word love now love indicates the name of a playing that is he love playing football. Next comes name in the action word sentence. I read the names of a student. Here the action here it indicates the my action what I am going with that is I am read the names of the students. Next. In naming words sentences, Raju named his dog as a Tommy. Here named is a noun form because it's a name of a dog. Next comes question. In action word, the teacher asks question after completing the class. Here the action, here the word question indicates the action of the teacher. What she is completing the class. In the naming word sentence, that is in the noun form. After reading the lesson, the question and doubts are to be cleared by the teacher. Here it is a naming word because it it is the uh, name of a doubts are to be cleared by the teacher see children see this picture look at the words given in the balloon above join each of them with the words out that is outlay money spent on something outline showing the shape of something outpost something that exists outside the main outfoot set of things especially clothes for a particular purpose Outlaw, declare someone an outside or expel. Outlet, way out of liquid or a gas. Outlook, views or perception. Outlaw, group of people or settlement far from the main group or settlement. Outskirt, outer areas or limits of a town. Outhouse, small building near a larger main building. Okay, next comes to the substitute the following with one word using the words given in the box yes substitute one word meaning that is first one short account of an amusing or interesting event we call as an accord one who has no money we call him as a pauper name shared by all the members of the family we call it as a surname laudatory speech or written tribute especially praising someone who has died high praise or commendation praise examination we call as eulogy next a quality that means a greatness of heart we call it as generosity Next comes to the grammar. Okay, we already studied the parts of speech. Okay, that is verbs are also called as action words. No sentence can be complete without a verb or an action word that expresses the action. Take for example here children. I run fast. They sit quietly. She learns well. He listens attentively. Here the underlined words they are called as an action word. I run fast. Here what he is going to do here action is. He is running very fast. Then sit is action word because he is sitting very quietly. It shows the action. That is sitting is an action word. Next, she learns well. Here learn is also an action word because he is learning very well. Next, he listens attentively. That is he is listening very carefully. That is listen is action word here. See children, the words underline the above sentence denotes the action words. Next. Now identify the action words in the following sentences. See children, they sing well. In this, which is action here children? That is, sing is action because it shows the action of singing. Next, we play in the evening. Here, play is action word because it is also showing the action of playing. He works in a hospital. That is, work is action word. That is, work is also, it indicates the working in a hospital. Our parents guides us in our Homework. Here, guide is an action word. Dog jumped into the well. Jumped is an action word. It is showing an action that he is jumping in the well. Cow eats grass. That is, eats is an action word. It is showing the eating action. They attended a meeting yesterday. That is, meeting is an action word. That is, they are going to meet. Ramu walked to the school. That is, walked is action word. That is, walking is an action. He is going to school by walk. Next, she painted all the pictures. That is, painted is an action word. It is showing a painting. Next, danced work. It is also action word. That is, dancing. They are dancing. Okay, children, I hope you all understand. So, children, write these all the glossaries, question answers, everything in your classbook very neatly. Complete it. Okay, children, if you don't understand the videos, see the videos again and again. Read the lesson. Improve your handwriting very clearly. Okay, children, I'll catch you in the next video that is poem number three that is lineage. Okay, children.
थैंक यू एंड टेक केयर एंड बी सेफ एट होम